Okay guys, so I just bought this RTX 3060 from PNY, the Accelerate model, uh, for 110 euros. Yes, very cheap. However, I got it this cheap because it has a broken fan. So that's it, as you can see. Now I will let you hear it as well. And if I turn it on, it's even worse. Now, not only is it a bit out of the axle, but also the grease under the fan uh, basically has dried up. So here's how you fix a broken fan in a GPU, okay? Let's get started. First of all, we gotta open it up. So see you in a sec. Okay, so after opening it up, we can see a few things that are just wrong. So first of all, it had already been opened up and this has been repasted. Then they added uh, some paste on the memory because probably the memory was running a bit too hot. So I suppose this was used for cryptocurrency mining for a while. This is something very common, uh, unfortunately. So what I think I will do is just straight up replace the pads uh, in here um, and uh, replace the paste as well, obviously. But before doing that, we will focus on the fan itself. So with those tiny screws down there, we can separate the actual uh, heatsink from the fan and we need to do that. So let's go ahead. Okay, so here are the screws. Now it should just come undone right there. So this is our heatsink. I will maybe clean it up. Then of course, uh, redo all the paste and stuff. But let's now just focus on the fan for a second, okay? So this, uh, hold up, it also has an RGB cable, which uh, is fine. This is our actual issue, okay? So we could just replace this and you can buy it uh, online pretty easily. Uh, however, what we wanna do is try to fix it ourselves. So here there is a hole. Now we will discuss the various scenarios because I want this to be a general tutorial. So no matter what GPU you have, you can fix it. So first case, our case. If I put my finger in there, I can feel that there is a hole. So I just need to lift this one off and put the uh, grease in the hole. However, some fans, you will be able to just separate it by pulling it up. So how you do it is with two fingers, you just grab this part, don't grab the fins, just, sorry, don't grab the blades, just grab the center and you will pull it until you can separate it. And maybe we can do it in here too, but we will not attempt that. And then you wanna grease the underside, okay? So now we're gonna try to just peel off the sticker. And here we go, a little tip is you can use a hair dryer to warm it up to make it easier to uh, remove right here. So this is our backside and those are the chips controlling the fan. And this center here is where you can just drill a hole and then put your actual grease. Uh, however, I think I will try to separate the fan in order not to have to drill a hole. But this is how you can fix any fan uh, without risking. But I will risk and try to separate the blades. So let's come back in a second and hopefully it will not be broken. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't easy because those things tend to flex and you can damage them, but I managed to separate everything. And now if we take a look inside, this is our issue. So we need to lubricate the pin uh, that goes into there. That's the only point really that needs lubrication, but I will also uh, with manually with my finger, just put it around this thing. Now, I will, uh, as you can see, if I put my finger there, there is lubricated, so it means we need to lubricate it again. And if we put it on the pin, the pin is very much so lubricated. So first step is I will use some isopropyl alcohol and just clean it off better, okay? Then we can grab um, our grease and I will show you what grease to get, okay? Okay, so when it comes to what oil to use, you wanna use sewing machine oil, yes. I use this single one. Uh, there are many different kinds you can use. Uh, so, where do you want to put it? On the central pin and on the side here. Don't need to put it here, but you can put a little drop in the middle if you want to be extra sure, okay? So, I will go ahead and do it and then come back to you and hopefully we can fix it. So, how do I apply it? I just put it on my finger with gloves and then just spread it with my fingers. Now it's there. Time to close it up and see if it works. Well, guys, I'll let you take a listen and decide for yourself if it, if it worked, okay? There we go. Fully silent, guys. Fully silent. We fixed it, so we close it up and we test it out for a second to show you guys how it's working. 
Now, as you can see, I've cleaned this one off and now we'll do this one too. Remember guys, since you are already in here, you must change your thermal paste and thermal pads, especially on a 3000 series GPU. I have a dedicated video talking about why this is crucial, but you really need to guys. It's gonna improve the life of your car, the noise levels, the temperatures, even the performance. Please do it. And here we are running MSI Afterburner with the GPU fan maxed out. Uh, because we're running heaven in the background, afterburner on top, maxing everything out, 1920 MHz, and it's doing the normal sound with no issues at all. Plus, as you can see, we can do a peel off, so the card is officially brand new. Very happy about it. So guys, this is how you fix a fan on a GPU or even on a case, on a cooler that's broken by simply lubricating it. So if it was helpful, please drop a like and a sub. I have many more tutorials and see you in the next one guys, bye!